Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh. Hey, 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 welcome to another math video, and look, it's another feature animal of the day. Well, hello there, Mr. Catfish. Yes, hey, good to have you. We're sponsoring this video in your name, my friend. <laughs> hey, anyway, oh my goodness, catfish makes me think of a catfish story. You know, I'm from the Midwest. And I remember when I was just a young tyke, probably like a fifth grader, I remember how careful we had to be taking those catfish off the hook. Oh my goodness, those things would sting. That top fin there, I don't know, is that what we consider the dorsal fin of the catfish? If you didn't get your hands underneath that, that thing would sting you. However, now being on the West Coast, I notice they don't have that stinger. I don't know. Probably a different species of catfish. Okay, now, of course, we are here, my friends, for math because I just, I love math. Math is, math is just so awesome because it connects everything with real life problems and how we use numbers to figure things out. And I know you guys love math too. I hope these videos are fun. Let's go ahead and get started with chapter two, review for the test. First problem says, it says, choose the word that makes the sentence true. The first digit in the quotient of 1,875 divided by nine will be in the, and we have some choices here. Well, I think what they really want us to do on these problems is when we do our long division. So 1,875, I'm gonna go ahead and divide that by my nine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see how many, basically we're trying to find how many groups. We're gonna put nine in each group, and this is our divisor, and our divisor tells us that, that we're going to put nine in each group. Well, you can see that, well, the nine we have here, 1,000. And I know that many of you know in long division is like, well, we can't do that because this number is too small. But if we look at the thousands place along with the hundreds place, now we have 18 hundreds. We can do that two times. So the question then asks them, so the first digit in the quotient up here on the top is going to be in the hundreds place. So here we would circle the hundreds. Exactly. Does that make sense for you? That's what they're asking here on this problem. Let's bring it on down, bring it on down. Okay, oh, what? Oh, don't sing. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I apologize. Hey, number two says for numbers 2A to through 2D, select true or false to indicate whether the quotient is correct. Okay, I like that. So 225 divided by 9. We just need to go ahead and, and divide this out. We could kind of make some estimates, but I'll go ahead and just do that. Well, 9 will go into 22. It won't go into 2, right? So it goes into 22. What do you say? About 2 times? That's what I would say. That's 18. I need to subtract. Of course, I have to regroup. Let's regroup. That leaves me with just 4 left over. Now I come down and with it, I bring my 5. There you go. And I have 25. So my friends, I would say true, true, I'm blue. Do, do, do. Okay. And then we have 154 divided by 7. Okay, is equal to 22. You know, rather than dividing out, I know, we could, it's not cheating, it's just thinking smart. We could make it easy on ourselves and just multiply 22 and 7. You know what I'm saying? We could even use a distributive property, which we learned earlier, which would be just 20 times 7, right? And that's 140. And then just add on 14, because 2 times 7. Did I lose you? I didn't mean to. But the distributive property tells us that we can take, take 20 times 7 plus 2 times 7. And there you go, 154. So obviously this one here is also true. Now, of course, this chapter is about division, so we'll go ahead and do the division. Oh, let's go ahead and do another one, 312. So we get that practice doing the division. Divide by 9. 9 goes into 31. Oh, I want to say 3 times. I get 27. I didn't go over, it doesn't look like. And then, of course, I have to regroup here. Again, I a remainder of 4 here. But I need to bring down my 2 right here. Always bring down my next digit in the dividend. 9. Well, you know what? That's not going to work out, is it? We got 5, which is 45. That's too big. So we're going to have to do 4. And that's 36. We're going to end up with a remainder here. There's no remainder here. So that just can't be true. Okay, so I'm going to put false for that one. 
Now, I'm just doing these videos so I could easily make a mistake. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just check my work. I'm going to go ahead and take that 39 times 9 because if that's part of a fact family, then this should get me 312. Here we have 1. That's 81. You can already see that's going to be incorrect. That's 27. And 27 plus 8 is 35. 351. Now, it was off by quite a bit. Okay, as I'm making all this mess on my page, now I have 412 divided by 2. Oh, I love the two. I love divided by two. I like times two. Why? Because I love doubling numbers. It's easy to deal with. And I can always split a number in half. So I don't even need to do the long division. 400 divided by two is 200, right? And we're just going to add on in 12 divided by two is six. Do you see how that's going to be 206? Can you see how this is going to be false? Yeah. And we could go ahead, let's come over here and we'll do the 412 divided by two so you can see what I'm talking about. Two will go into four two times quite nicely, I might, might add. I bring down my one, but look at that, two will not go into one. And therefore, we say that it goes in there zero times. I have to make sure I put my zero up there because I did drop down my one. Now I bring down my two, two will go into 12. It'll go in there six times. There you go, there's your 206. So yes, that is false, and I am final answer. That's it, final answer. Now, number three. Number three says Chen is checking a division problem by doing the following. It says 152 times four is 608. All right, eight, 20, carry the two, four, five, six. Okay, I like it. And then it says plus two, 610. What problem is Chen Checking. Okay. Uh, is it telling me to put words? What am I supposed to do here? Words? I don't know. Uh, I could write it down in words, I suppose. Could also, let me just do the mathematical problem itself. Because what he's doing is basically this. He's, he has a dividend of 610. All right. And he's going to be dividing that number by four. And I'm saying that because here I'm thinking the 152 here is the quotient. And so he's taking the quotient multiplied by the divisor to get back to the dividend. And of course, here was the remainder, which he added to. So let's see if that's true. So four goes into six. It does go in there one time. So far, so good, yes. And then I bring down my one. Uh-huh, yeah, I like it. Four goes into 21 five times. Yes, sirree, that gives me 20. I'm going to subtract that. I'm going to get one. I'm going to bring down my zero because I do have a zero here. And I bring down that zero. And what do you know? It will not go in there nicely. Well, they're just not compatible numbers, okay? They're still polite to each other, though, okay? So 4 goes into 10. We're going to say it's going to go in there two times. That's going to give me my 8. I subtract. I get 2. And there I have my remainder 2. Now, there you can see where we checked our work. Or, I'm sorry, Chen checked his work. He took the 152. He multiplied it by the 4. Yes, he did. Check. And then he got 608. And we checked the math, and that was true. And then we added the 2 and got the 610. Check. Yes, Chen, you it's game on for you, my friend. You are on it. Yes. All right. We are on to the next page. Ding. Oh, no, I went too far. Ding. Thank you. Okay. Smart software sometimes has a mind of its own. Okay, so number four says Isaiah wrote this problem in his notebook. Okay. Using the vocabulary box, label the parts of the division problem. Then, using the vocabulary, explain how Isaiah can check whether his quotient is correct. We've talked a lot about quotient, divisor, dividend. And now we just need to go ahead and identify it. So I'm going to go ahead and say that over here, this is our divisor. Yes. And I know that an answer to division problem is called the quotient. And the number that we are dividing, kind of I think of it as the whole part, uh, we're going to go ahead and say that is the dividend because, well, it's the process of elimination. It's the last one. Dividend. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Oh. You get so excited, Mr. War, you know, you do have to finish this question. Okay, well, I did use the vocabulary box. I did label the parts. But then it says, using the vocabulary, explain how Isaiah can check whether his quotient is correct. Okay, I have to use those words. I could do that. Well, 
Isaiah could check his work by multiplying the divisor and the quotient. If the quotient is correct, and then the problem should equal the dividend. All right, let me go ahead and write those notes down. And voila, there you go. I got it to fit inside the box. So let's move on. Well, you know what? I'm sensing a disturbance in the force. There's something. I thought I saw something ripple over here. What was? Did you see anything? Ah! Oh, it's Mr. Catfish. What do you know? You were sneaking behind. They are sneaky little creatures, aren't they? That's all right. Hey, you're good. You're good. Just thought you, you know, thought something was moving over there. All right, let's bring it on down here. Oh, no, and it's you again. My goodness, how did you do that? You are just up there. Okay, um, you're kind of in the way, so I'm going to have to move you. Please don't take it personally, okay? All right. Okay, you took it personal. What's that? You just dematerialized? Okay. All right, fair enough. Sure, yeah. What, you, is this a magic trick? Okay, you can just blink out and blink in anytime you want. Okay, <laughs> this is kind of getting creepy. Um, I'm just going to set you over here, okay? Don't. Okay. All right. Fine. Be gone. <laughs> I know. You're saying, Mr. Wara, what are you doing? I really don't know. I'm just having some fun. Okay. Let's go on. Number five says, Tammy says the quotient of 793 divided by six is 132 Remainder 1. It says use multiplication to show if Tammy's answer is correct. Okay. Cool. So we're looking at this here. So we're just like checking her work. And first thing I think I would want to do is if the quotient is 132 and it has a remainder of 1, let's take the 132 and then let's multiply the divisor, right? Because that is how we do it. And that's going to be 12, carry the 1, that's 18 plus 1, which is 19, so I carry my 1, that's 6 plus 1, which is 792. Now, of course, I have a remainder, so I could take my 792 plus 1, I know, why am I writing this down? Mr. Ward, this is so easy. I agree. Just showing my work. And then that would be 793. So, like another program that I do use, which we talk about the OR. DW for those people who know what that's all about reading and drawing trying to draw a picture and then writing a statement I'm going to write the yes Tammy to answer the question uh, her name is Tammy yeah Tammy's uh, answer is correct all right let me make sure to make that statement is correct amundo I mean correct yes Mr. Wara decaf coffee would not be a bad thing for you just a thought all right Mr. War, are you talking to yourself? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Okay. Moving on, number six. It says, Jeffrey wants to save the same amount of money each week to buy a new bike. Cool. He needs $252. If he wants the bike in 14 weeks, how much money should Jeffrey save each week? So key things here that we need to pull out of these kinds of problems because this is where that read, draw, and write really comes into play. Because when you're looking at this problem and you say to yourself, well, I need to understand the problem first. First thing, I see that he, he wants to, of course, buy this new bicycle and he needs a certain amount of money, which is $252. If he wants to buy it in 14 weeks, how much money it says, should Jeffrey save each week? So we're breaking up into equal groups. Yes, that means division. So if I took my 252, that would be my, div my dividend, and then my 14 would be my divisor. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Important for us to understand what that problem is doing. We're taking that amount of money now, dividing it by 14. So this will tell us how much money he'll need to save each week. Now, 14 goes into 25 nicely I might add. It doesn't do it quite twice because if you double that you get 28 and that's too much. Now we just end up with 11. If the remainder is larger than our divisor, we've got problems. Well, nothing major, but it lets us know that, uh-oh, I could have taken out more another group, but that didn't happen. So in this case, I'm going to drop down my two and then 14 goes into 112 how many times? 
Maybe we want to try eight and see what happens. I would probably drop down a couple. So to multiply that, there you end up with, what's that, 32, carry the three, eight. Oh, look at that. That's 112. Uh, eight would definitely go up here. Now I have my 112, of course, which turns into zero. So 18 times 14. So the answer would be $18. Okay, $18 a week. And if you took 18 times 14, you could check to make sure you get your $252. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. It says Dana is making a seating chart for an awards banquet. It says there are 184 people coming to the banquet. If eight people can be seated at each table, how many tables will be needed for the awards banquet? Okay, again, you know, I'm sensing division right away. Because what I see here is there's this total amount. That sounds like that dividend, 184 people, okay? And that 184 people is like that total. And so we're trying to put eight people at each table. Again, looking for that divisor lets us know how many groups of those eight people could we make. So that helps us decide the operation and make sure that our numbers are in the correct places so that we have 184 as the dividend here divide by eight now let's find out how many tables we're, tables we're going to need eight's going to go into 16 two times because eight times two is 16 and it leaves me with two left over okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and bring down my four and now eight goes into 24 nicely three times and it leaves us with no remainder which means we're gonna exactly right 23 tables hey my friends i know you heard that music there in the background yes you know what that means it means boohoo yes the video has come to an end this is the review video one for chapter two and look for chapter two review two and three in the meantime my friends like i always say live long and prosper